Wow. Wow. That was a hell of a period of time. It's been a few weeks, a couple weeks since I did a video, and in that couple of weeks, I have been named Executive Director of Atheist Alliance International. I'm wearing that shirt in, in celebration of that, although I do want to say that what I'm about to say does not necessarily reflect the views of Atheist Alliance International, but folks, I am so grateful to the Board of Directors of, Atheist, of AAI for doing their due diligence and, um, you know, looking at the evidence, looking at the situation, realizing that I had been hurt uh, and essentially framed and hiring me uh, to be their executive director. I'm, I'm truly honored um, to a very deep and humbled degree. I'm, I'm, I'm honored and humbled to a very large degree. I'm a little stammered about it. That doesn't happen often. <laughs> um, it also means a lot to me that so many people have sent me so many messages and so many people have come back um, into my world after seeing the Armin interview and seeing the other podcasts that I've done. And um, I have to say to all of you that uh, I appreciate you so, so goddamn much um, that uh, I, I, I can't tell you enough how proud I am to have your um, your support um, given all that's happened and given all that's been done. And uh, so I have these new responsibilities now, right? So I'm the executive director of AAI. So what's gonna happen to Firebrand for good? I'm gonna keep it up. Um, I'm going to keep it up. I'm gonna keep um, doing these projects. I'm still doing this this, this, this um, de-wokening as I'm calling it. Um, this, I, I don't wanna call it a red pill because I, don't have a destination. I'm not trying to go right. I'm trying to look at the data and try and kind of deprogram myself of all of the indoctrination that I can find um, and all of the bullshit that I can find. You know, I did a video on feminism and I'd like to follow up a little bit about that. Um, so I've been thinking about it a lot, um, you know, and I'm kind of, I've been thinking about you know, the fact that nobody is questioning now whether or not a woman could win the presidency. Um, that's not a, it's not a far off thing. Hillary Clinton essentially did. And Elizabeth Warren could do it again. She's already polling above Trump. Um, and I'm thinking of all of the companies in this country. I mean, if they had a choice between two equal men and two equally equal candidates for their leadership, men and women, I think a pretty very small number of those organizations would choose a man because they don't like women. I don't think very many people and many organizations would choose, well, between two candidates, I think they would choose the woman because it's, it's better visually. It's an actual improvement to have a woman in charge than a man. So, and then I looked at the gender pay gap, and uh, the gender pay gap is essentially not real. And if it is real, it's very small. The amount that's attributed... So the, the problem with the gender pay gap is that people look at, the, at it as evidence of misogyny. Or, and, and it's not. Uh, it's, it's, it's made up of a whole bunch of reasons for it to exist, like behaviors. And people say, so, well, that's systemic. But what does that mean? That means it's in the system. Are there any laws or any... I mean, there's, there's nothing in the system that prefers men over women that I know of. Uh, there are systems that are preferring women over men. But I don't know of any that are preferring men over women. So. I'm looking at the feminism movement as having won. I think we won. And it's kind of new to me to think about this thing like this because, I mean, the second wave feminists, we were looking for equal work for equal pay, which essentially we got. 
and the elimination of the glass ceiling, which I think we got. The elimination of systemic prejudice against women, which I think we got. So as I'm looking at the new feminist movement, the current feminist movement, which with, with which I am no longer associated, I, uh, I look at a bunch of activists without a cause. And so what do you do when you have a bunch of activists without a cause? Well, you become all hype. You become all angry about small stuff. Small stuff becomes big stuff. Um, and because the big stuff doesn't exist anymore. And when you have small stuff and you're arguing bigly about small stuff, the one thing you don't want is conversation. So you create echo chambers that protect you from being distracted or prevent you from being challenged. And you deplatform your opponents. And so that's all kind of fits in with woke culture. And it all feels like feminism won. Yay. And the leftover feminists are just looking for a reason literally to exist as activists. And when they don't find one, they just straw man you with, you know, name calling, uh, trying, you know, a guilt by association, anything to straw man you out of contention for challenging their authority. I have had lots of conversations um, about uh, this transition I'm going to. And by the way, I haven't made any decisions. I'm going to read the comments for this video, uh, and maybe I'll make another video of this. Uh, this is a this is a a, a uh, this is just the next line in videos that I wanted to make, just because I think I've tentatively made a decision about myself that. Um, Feminism won, second wave feminism won. First wave feminism, second wave feminism won, we did it. I think we should pat ourselves on the back. I think the people who ran that movement and were really more active in that movement um, for all those years, decades, women and men should pat themselves on the back for having won the good fight. Am I wrong? Is systemic misogyny still out there? Am I? Wrong that most companies wouldn't hire a woman over a man because it looks better to hire a woman these days? And am I wrong that that doesn't make, that that kind of obliterates the glass ceiling? That nobody's really talking about the glass ceiling anymore? You tell me. I'm going to read the comments on this video. Um, like and share and do all that stuff that y'all are supposed to do with these videos. Subscribe. Uh, and uh, also, Thanks again to Atheist Alliance International for hiring me. Once again, this video does not represent the views of AAI. I'm just wearing their shirt in celebration of them being awesome. And I want to thank them for, uh, uh, again, for bringing me on. And uh, I'll see you in the comments section and I'll see you in future videos. Mm -hmm.